things that I want to cover today. Um, this week was awesome! I actually spent a lot of time at home, but it was with good cause because I made a lot of new jewelry this week. I'm really excited. Like, this piece I made, it's called um, Ra, and I also created some earrings. Uh, they are called, I'm calling them the Door Knockers 2.0. And then I also created a, my first body chain of the collection. I'm really excited. It's one of a kind. But um, I'm definitely going to be adding some more to the collection. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then I also created a new piece called da, 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 Majesty. Um, if you guys like these pieces or any of the other pieces, please check out my jewelry site, www.kerricaliverich.com, and pick up a piece for yourself or somebody that you think deserves it. Treat yourself. <laughs> So, I didn't know to do that agenda. It's something that I had on my mind all week to speak about. So, I was listening to the radio while I was like lotioning up one day, you know, I was getting ready to go out, and I hear a new Usher song, and I'm like, oh, this is good. So I start like, I felt my shoulders going, then I felt my hips going, toes were tapping, but then I start listening to the words, because I feel like words and songs are really, really important. The song is called I Don't Mind, but I do mind, because the words are Horrible. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna read y'all the lyrics. I'm gonna read these lyrics to y'all. Shorty, I don't mind. No, if you dance on a pole, that'll make you a hoe. Shorty, I don't mind. No, if you work until three, if you're leaving with me, go make that money, 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 that money, 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 cause you know how it is. Go handle your bids and get that money, 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 your money, money, money. You can take off your clothes, long as you're coming home, girl, I don't mind. That's a lie. I should straight up done lie to the kids. Let me tell you why. But you can be a stripper and you could end up still finding the man of your dreams and he'll respect you and love you till the end of time. That's a lie. Because no man is really seriously going to wife up a, I don't wanna, I, I, I don't consider people that dance hoes, I don't consider people that take their clothes off hoes. Like, people do certain things for different reasons. Um, and I feel like being sensual and sexy is awesome, especially as a woman. But the idea that you're encouraging this and telling girls that being objectified is kind of cool and that you're, as a man, gonna be okay with this and take them seriously, I don't think that that's completely true. I mean, like, look at Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, and a bunch of other people that started off kind of in an exotic light, and they cannot escape it, no matter what they've done. Drea, I mean, of Basketball Wives, like, these are brilliant business minds that have gone on to do so much. They're mothers, they are business owners, they're, like, actors, actresses, and all this stuff. Yet, they cannot escape the way that they started off. Kim Kardashian had a sex tape, and Amber Rose is a stripper. Like, music is one of the most impressionable forms of art that um, affects like the youth. Uh, it really, really permeates uh, us at our being. I feel like if you're gonna be the role of an artist, take some take some caution. I, I really do support the creative process. I support freedom of speech, but not when it's gonna have young girls thinking that it's okay to take off your clothes and, you know, twerk all over the place with anybody and everybody but then you have a man at home and think that he's really going to be okay with that and not hold it against you at some point because I feel like that's not true. It's not true. Amber Rose got married to somebody that was the love of her life and he knew what she was before when she started out um, and now they're divorced and he's throwing it in her face calling her all types of horrible names. That history is always going to be there. But those are just my thoughts. That's just my rant. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that I'm wrong? Do you agree? Is it cool to have lyrics like these in songs, especially when you know that kids are listening to them and that they'll probably pick it up? All right, so that's the end of my Chatty Sunday. But before I leave, I want to tell you guys what we're going to be up to within the next couple weeks. Um, next Sunday, I'm really excited. I'm going to be introducing you guys to a good friend of mine, Joya Deze. She's an entrepreneur. She's bomb.com. She is a fashion stylist, a blogger, she's a writer, 
<laughs> and to add to the list of the many things that she already does, she's now also an author because she created a, a wrote a book about natural hair care, and she's also the owner of a new hairline called Curl Sisters with a um, blog to go along with it called CurlSisters.com. She juggles 18 things and makes it look so so easy as she does it looking forward to introducing her to you guys and until later guys live rich happy dream chasing and i'll see you next sunday I've always been committed to the idea of a live rich world, one where everyone was stepping into their power and creating a life that they love to live. So I've started the 90 Days of Momentum Challenge. I can admittedly say I hated being dark skin. Like I did not like my complexion. I get, used to get teased horribly. Um, I was called African booty scratcher because I'm Nigerian. Um, I was called things like black street, like all types of things that made me super self-conscious about the skin I was in. 